Welcome to another episode of Photoshop for Beginners. In this episode I will be talking about masking. I will assume you already know how to work with layers. If you don't, make sure you watch episode 5 where I talked about the layers panel and then come back here. We use layer masks to hide parts of an image and reveal the layers below but without, without deleting that part of the image. So I'll make an exercise here so you'll see it. Uh, really, it's really easy to use. And these layer masks are usually used to remove background or replace uh, areas like the sky here. Uh, this is exactly what I want to do here in this uh, exercise. I have this image here, and what I want to do is replace uh, this sky here with uh, with another sky from another stock image. This is a free stock image from StockExchange.com. I have uh, I put the links on the video description. If you don't have, you need an account in order to download images, but uh, it's free, and the images are free to use. And so, as I said, I want to replace this sky with uh, something more interesting, and I will use masking for that. So, in order to replace this, I will need a second image. So I'll go to File. In this case, Open Recent because I already opened it. And this is the image that I will use to replace that sky on the other one. And I'll go to select, select all. I would usually use Control A, but I'm doing it from the menus up here so that you can see what I'm doing. Then go to edit, copy, and I can close this because I no longer need it. And I'll go to edit, paste. And you can see that the, this second image uh, is a lot bigger than than the background, so what I will do is uh, zoom out and press Control T or go to Edit, Free Transform and grab this uh, right corner and press the Shift key to make sure I'm constraining the proportions and keeping the aspect ratio and I will resize it and make it something like this and then press Enter to confirm that. Okay, now what we need to do now is send this layer uh, below the background, but in order to do that we first need to unlock the background, so click on this lock icon and drag it to the recycle bin. And now let's rename this to sky and this one to landscape. Okay, it's always good to rename your layers. And now we can drag the sky under the landscape. And now we can start masking this. Most beginners use the eraser tool instead of using masks and just start deleting the sky and reveal the layer that is underneath this. But this is not a good option because we uh, that way we destroy the original image and we lose the information and maybe later we decide that we want the original sky back in but we cannot do we cannot undo that so that's why we use masks so select the landscape click this icon to create a new mask or go to layer uh, layer mask and reveal all by default when you create a new layer mask uh, it's filled with white so that means everything is visible and you, on layer masks you can only paint with uh, black and white. With black you hide things and with white uh, you reveal. So I will select the paintbrush, make sure I have the black color selected and I could start painting here and hiding the sky. But the difference between this and the eraser tool is that I can disable this layer mask, if I right click on it, I could choose disable layer mask and I, I can always uh, see the original image. Let's enable. But in this case we will use another method. Since the sky is uh, one solid color we could easily use the magic wand tool and just click once with tolerance at 40 and contiguous option on. Then press shift and add this little area to the selection. And with this, I can now get the the paint brush and start painting with black. And now I have a, a much better selection. I don't have to worry about the edges of the mountain. And you can see how it looks now. 
and also take a look at how the the layer mask looks now and of course I can select the sky with the move tool I can move the sky around and place it however I want however I like it and that's pretty much it uh, you can and you can as you can see the layer mask is linked to the, to the layer but you can you can unlink this if you want and move the mask independently but of course it, it will not look too good so for the moment let's leave it linked there you can also disable and enable the layer mask if you press shift and click on the layer mask and you can see and you can see how I disable and enable it and as I said the big benefit of this is that you don't affect the landscape image at all it's just uh, you just hide that part of the image but you can also reveal it if you paint with white you can reveal the original back like that let me undo that another kind of layer mask you can use is called a clipping mask and I will use it on a text layer in this example so choose color black and I'll type the name of my website and put it here let's make it a bit bigger at 60 and I will open that sky image again if I can find it well, any any image will do and again I will select all copy close it and paste it on a new layer Again, I will make it smaller with Control T to load the free transform. Scale it down. Press Enter. And what I want to do in this case is use the shape of the text as a mask to only show to show the sky only on over the text. So in this case, it's a lot easier to do. Just right click here on the on the sky layer and just and choose Create Clipping Mask and here you have it now you can move the sky however you want because it will only be visible on the over the text this is called a clipping mask of course you can you can add adjustments to this uh, go to adjustments hue saturation for example and increase the saturation uh, change the colors And that's how clipping masks uh, work. It's really easy to do as well. So that's pretty much about masking for now. Uh, for a beginner I think it's, uh, it's enough, so I'll see you on the next episode.